Deputy Speaker, it's a pleasure to follow the Honourable Gentleman for uh, Murray. Um, many uh, community organisations in England would recognise uh, his uh, concern about, uh, about funding, uh, funding cuts. Certainly I come from the constituency that produced Sir Roger uh, Bannister and organisations such as Harrow Athletics Club, Harrow Metros and uh, Jetstream Triathlon Club who uh, pound the uh, paths that Sir Roger uh, once uh, trod in Harrow are only too well aware of the funding constraints uh, facing Harrow Council and indeed other um, local authorities. But I wanted um, to uh, concentrate the bulk of my re remarks on uh, two issues and if time allows to raise one small uh, other issue at the end. The first issue is the, uh, is the issue that I raised in, uh, uh, in an intervention on the Honourable, on the Minister, and that is the uh, coverage uh, that is afforded on uh, television and in the media more generally uh, to, uh, to women's uh, sport. I suppose as the uh, father of a four-year-old uh, daughter, I have been struck uh, of late by how little uh, sports coverage uh, of women's sport um, there actually is in, on mainstream uh, television. There has been uh, some improvement of late, and it's certainly true that there is a spike whenever there is a major uh, women's uh, championship uh, taking, um, taking place. But the highly commendable organisation Women in Sport, who did research uh, into this issue, continue to note that only 10% of TV sports coverage is dedicated to women's, uh, women's sport uh, at the moment. Uh, compared to 7% across all media. Uh, and uh, when they looked at a number of countries, including the UK, they identified that there was actually more hours of uh, women's sports coverage uh, in the media in Romania than indeed here, um, here in the UK. It's not as if there isn't um, substantial interest in seeing uh, more uh, coverage uh, of women's, uh, women's sport. There is a growing, uh, uh, and, uh, grow a growing appetite for watching uh, women's sport on the basis of uh, figures uh, that have uh, recently been released. Uh, <clears throat> research indeed from the specialist data me measurement company Nielsen shown that almost 50% of people would watch more uh, women's sport if it was accessible on free-to-air television, while almost 40% would watch it if it was available uh, online. But if we're really to see a significant change, I think it will come down to ministers uh, holding uh, the feet of the free-to-air broadcasters in particular uh, to the fire. And it would be good to hear a little more, if I may say so uh, gently, to the minister as to what she might be willing uh, to do um, in this uh, area. Indeed, if the free-to-air broadcasters are not willing to, to move quickly uh, on, uh, on this, I think it may require changes to the licence uh, arrangements to put the appropriate um, financial pressure uh, on, uh, on broadcasters. Similarly, I share the uh, view of the Right Honourable Lady on our uh, front bench that reform of uh, the Premier uh, League is overdue. There isn't enough uh, financial <coughs> transparency. Our fans uh, do not have enough power to hold owners uh, to, uh, to account. There certainly isn't uh, enough uh, investment from Premier League uh, revenues into uh, grassroots sport. If the Football Association have to think about uh, selling the greatest of our sporting assets, uh, Wembley, uh, Wembley Stadium, to get substantial investment into uh, grassroots uh, sport, that really is an indicator that the Premier League are not uh, doing enough. A 10% uh, share of the uh, TV rights uh, that uh, uh, the Premier League, Premier League secure every year would more than have raised uh, the amount of money that the uh, Football Association hoped to generate for grassroots uh, sport uh, from, uh, from the sale of Wembley Stadium. My honourable friend for Cardiff is absolutely right to say that not only the Welsh Rugby Union but a whole series of Premier League uh, and Championship football clubs could do a lot more to tackle uh, the issue of paying the living uh, wage uh, to the poorest paid workers in uh, sport. Lastly, I think um, uh, there are Indian uh, elections uh, coming up uh, very uh, shortly. Why raise that in a debate about sport? I think it would be wonderful to see an Indian Premier League uh, match hosted here in the UK. Certainly many of my um, constituents would uh, welcome the appetite to see that. 
just as much as uh, American football is enjoyed at Wembley Stadium.